Okay, um, I don't actually know if this is going to work, but hopefully on a good day my machine should um, home itself nicely and um, hopefully everything works. So the tuning is still pretty bad. I've just, I've got a, a P value of 2, so um, it's pretty low, just, just temporarily tuning it. But um, if I click home all now. So already home, yep. And here we are. So this is the first time on camera homing the machine. Come on. Sweet. Okay, and now if I bump up the rapid speed, I've got the, it maxes out at 18 meters a minute, which is just a bit too fast really to um, jog it, but I'll stop it at like, no, we'll just give, we'll run full ball. Um, okay, this is going to be pretty fast, I think. Um, here we go. So yeah, um, there we are, oh, and the z-axis, this one sounds a bit better for some reason. So um, there's still a fair bit of stuff to do, but that's my first movement, so I'm pretty stoked. And um, just a little add-on to the video. So this is the back of my machine at the moment. Um, I've got three, uh, three kilowatt servo drives, all wired up, good to go. Um, I do need to move those heat sinks, but that's all good. Got a Snyder variable speed drive, a 7.5 kilowatt variable speed drive. Um, bunch of um, 24 volt and 5 volt power supplies. And down here, I've got a 7i92 Ethernet Mesa card, 7i77 Mesa card, and uh, these colours ain't changing, but I've got my DIN rail. So the top one's the right colour, colour that's uh, positive 24 volts. The bottom one should be uh, negative 24 volts. And up the top, I've just got a 7i84 um, external breakout board sort of thing sitting there. Um, yeah, but if you look, if you saw my other machine, this is a uh, a fair bit neater than the last effort, I must say. So, um, still got my computer sitting in here. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked at the moment. So, um, that's the first moves, all sussed. And you can see down the back there, I've just got new uh, Chinese servo motors bolted on there.